Hello, and welcome to this video about business emails and communication in partnership with Easy City. Today, we will look at how to communicate in business situations. In the globalized world, many companies now communicate electronically via email. Therefore, it is important to know how to write a formal business email and to use appropriate language. When thinking about writing a business email, it is important to first consider if it's the best form of communication. Would it be better to communicate the information via phone call or instant message? Well, this often depends on how quickly you need a response. When you have decided that an email is the best form of communication, you next need to consider who the email is intended for and the tone that is most appropriate. If you are emailing someone who is superior to you or a manager, then you want to ensure your tone is formal and respectful. You do not need to be overly formal, dear sir or madam is too much, but make sure you don't include any informal jokes, slang expressions, or abbreviations which are shortened words or expressions, for example, THX for thanks. When you are emailing a colleague who you have a good relationship with, you can be more informal in style, while always remembering it is a work email, so to keep it professional. It is also important to not be too direct. Make sure you use a greeting and sign off to avoid being seen as rude or aggressive. You can start with hi, hello, good morning or good afternoon and end with thanks, best wishes or kind regards, depending on who you are emailing. Generally, it is important to include several elements in your business email. A subject line, a salutation or greeting, an introduction to the purpose of the email, the main body, and a conclusion or sign-off. Let's look at these now. The subject line of the email should be short, clear, and concise. It should give a clear indication of what the email is about, so the reader can quickly identify the topic. For example, if I wanted to invite someone to a job interview, my subject line would be job interview and the name of the company. Next comes the greeting, which we talked about previously. Remember, this depends on your relationship with the person receiving your email, but if you know their first name, it is usually a good idea to address them by their first name. For example, hi Tom. The introduction to the email should be a short line explaining why you are emailing. A good way to do this is by saying, I hope you are well, I'm writing to, and then state the purpose of your email. The main body of an email will depend on what information you need to share with the person or people receiving the email. If the main body is more than a paragraph long, which is four to five lines, then consider if arranging a meeting would be a good idea. If you have a lot of information to communicate, it is often better to do this in a meeting where possible. Finally, the conclusion or sign off is where you might give a timeline or deadline for when you will next communicate. For example, you might say, I look forward to hearing from you which indicates that you expect a response quite quickly. You should also sign off with an appropriate ending. For example, thanks or take care if you know the person well, or best or kind regards if you have a more formal relationship. Now that you have your email written and it is ready to be sent, there are still some things you need to think about before you hit the send button. First of all, did you say you had attached a document to the email? Double check that you have attached it to avoid an email back asking where the document is. Although I'm sure we've all done this before. And last but not least, make sure you proofread your email. Check for any spelling or grammatical mistakes, especially if it is the first time you are emailing someone, as first impressions count. Also, make sure you have the correct spelling of someone's name, as again, this shows you have taken time to write the email. Thanks for watching this video. We hope the next time you write a business email, you will feel more confident and able to communicate what you want to say more effectively.